Hello, uh, 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 Aquarius, it's Prado G, and I'm here with a general collective reading for your sign, the final air sign of the zodiac cycle. Okay, three out of three, and you are the second to last, the 11th out of 12 zodiac signs. All right, we're diving into your reading today, starting off with a significant number. We're going to pick up on this energy. What type of chakras could be very prominent and important to focus towards at this time? We're going to see what is it giving for my lovely Aquariuses. I hope y'all are doing great today. Let go of all of the stress and anxiety and worry and fear right here now so that you can receive this divine message that is in store for you. All right. Significant number for wow. This number three just can't stop coming out. Three has been coming out in back to back readings, y'all. This is definitely a time for us to collaborate, to come together as groups. This is about connections, connections increasing in terms of groups. This is giving me family vibes, definitely with this three. I'm definitely getting family vibes, like family groups, intimate groups, bonds. Mm hmm. Yeah, Spirit is saying, this is a time for growth. This is a very pivotal time for growth in your life, Aquariuses, okay? And if your birthday is February 3rd, special shout out to you, all right? Somebody could be the third child, or you might have three siblings, or your parents could have three kids. The month of March could have been very much heated for some of you Aquariuses, I'm seeing here with that. Root chakra energy too. Focusing on your root chakra is going to be very vital at this time. Your root chakra is at the base of your spine, in case you guys did not know. So focusing your mind's eye on that area of your body and envisioning the color red is what's going to help you with balancing your heart, I mean your root chakra. But also this is the chakra of stability and security, right? Being stable in who you are. A stable connection to spirit. Like, really being grounded here by the roots. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I said root chakra. Because it's something about your roots. Definitely giving family tree vibes. All right. Aquarius, let's get into the read. I'm getting a family of three, too. It could be, wow, why the death card come up? Okay, there's something that you need to let die, Aquarius. There's something about a depth that you're still holding on to. It could be a physical one for some of you, but it's also just the need for you to release something that is dead, like it's done, so that you can create more space in your experience, in your mind, in your energy. What else we got here for my Aquarius is we got movement. Wow. So you're making some sort of moves upward and you're, you're, you're confident. This is bringing you to new heights of confidence, new levels of confidence, Aquarius. Why? Because you're moving different. You're elevating. You're moving up. You're moving your vibrations up here. You're making moves, right? You're starting a movement. You're getting things moving and you're doing it in a confident manner with a smile on your face. Definitely. As you move along into this future, into this next phase of your life, definitely do it with a smile on your face and be confident that you are moving in the right direction. Yes, Aquarius, period. Also, you could be making some moves in a group, right? Moving the group up the ladder. Leveling up from third place to first place here. Number one, at the end of the day, I feel like <clears throat> realizing that you are the one to get things moving in your life and to allow new life, new experiences. The old ones must go here. The old you must go go handling things the way that you used to is just not going to cut it no more what else we got here for my Aquarius is we got patience showing up in reverse so yeah it's time for you to end this impatient version of yourself there's something about you holding on to um the desire to have things in a fast manner just because society is making you feel that way. Like you're not really lit. You're not really live if you ain't getting things fast. If you're not making quick moves, right? If, if things ain't moving fast for you. Also, that's the vibe I'm getting here too. Somebody could be 
feeling a little bit dull in life energy just because you, you feel like, you know, things are taking too long to manifest. But Spirit is saying, listen, worry no more, okay? Be patient, but do do what it is that you need to be doing, which is forgiveness, definitely. I feel like this is the work here for y'all. Forgiveness, Aquarius. There's something that you need to forgive here. We got the forgiveness card showing up in reverse. There's something that you... Hmm. There's a phase of forgiveness, a cycle of forgiveness taking place for you right now, Aquarius, but you can't rush it. It's not something that just happens overnight. That's what I'm hearing. Forgive yourself, right, for holding on for something for so long, too. That's another thing, because you do have to be able to forgive yourself before you can forgive anyone else. So there's something about you needing to forgive a past version of yourself here, Aquarius. It says, I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love, right? So stop resenting people, things, you, right? This is a time for you to really just tap into forgiveness. There's somebody that you're closely connected to through blood or a strong connection. Someone that has been a part of your life here. And it's like, there's a need for you to forgive them, period. Right? They're not coming back to life. Some of them could be past, but yeah, some past loved ones or like past family members, family members who might have passed and you might still be holding on to some sort of animosity towards them. And I feel like this is your, your cycle of letting it go, letting go of the past for real. It's, it's really that simple. Just stop thinking about it so much in that way. When you think about that person, speak life over them. Forgive them. Listen, I can't even say that for all of you. I can't tell y'all what to do. This is your life. This is your reality. I'm seeing here, though, that there's a, a call for forgiveness. Then you got indecision showing up in reverse. I love that. So once you finally make a decision, you're going to be able to move on up. Once you make the de decision to listen to your intuition and not your ego, right? Because your intuition is always there to encourage you to make the best decisions, decisions that align with love. Your ego is going to make you make decisions based off of fear or um pessimism negativity you know those versions of yourself the lower aspects of who you are or the aspects of yourself that are tied to like the shadow so yeah spirit is saying listen it's time for you to listen to your intuition and make a decision to move forward to move up to elevate right so there could be, like I said, something that you have thought about a person or a past experience in your life for a long time. And you're you're going to have to do the work to shift your perception of it and see it from a different light. OK, people are out here doing what they're doing. Life is coming at us fast, Aquarius. OK, so people will make mistakes. People will hurt you and sometimes even intentionally. Right. But this this is not necessarily anything against you this is them lacking connection with them their higher selves this is them yearning for something in life and not being able to receive it this is someone who is bitter literally people who set out to hurt you are bitter people they're doing it because a it's happened to them b they're not happy with the way that their life is going and they want other people to join in company with their misery or C, they're just completely unaware of how their actions affect other people. So this is, this is what we all go through as humans. Spirit is saying, just forgive. Forgive yourself for the mistakes. Forgive other people for the mistakes or their past actions. The past is no longer happening right now. Surrender to the moment. Yes, this is definitely about you being more present in the moment, Aquarius. You're making the decision to be more present and to surrender. And this is raising you up. It's kind of like letting that anchor off of your ankle and now you're able to float to the top of the surface to rise up yes balance see bank account balance moving up mm -hmm. you bringing more balance into your life overall you feeling more balanced as an individual is what i'm seeing here you bringing balance back into the group because here this could be like i said still a group collective effort that you're that you're embodied or or focused on right now Balance and empathy. Yes, empathy will restore balance in your connection with others. Being empath empathetic, right? 
being understanding, being able to understand their side of the situation, right? And to still stay balanced in your own, right? Because you don't have to give up your position to understand someone else's balance. Yes, I do see things moving up to um, emotions raising. Yes, emotions will be rising. And that's a good thing. Not, not in the sense that you, you might cry tears of joy. But emotions are rising up in the way that your your energy is elevating. Yeah. Balance. We got honesty showing up here in reverse. So there's a need for you to tell the truth so that you can grow. There's some sort of lie that's kind of getting in the way of your growth here. And you're not really going to be able to grow unless you can be more honest. If you can separate from the lies, right? There could be something about a person lying to you or you withholding some sort of information, some sort of truth. There's some sort of truth definitely being held back, though, with that honesty in reverse. So, yeah, you could definitely be moving away from dishonest people as well. People who just, you know, people who don't want to maintain balance or people who are just lying. They move, they move shysty. And it's like, listen, mm -mm, I'm good. I'm not going down there with y'all. I'm not going down sad. Oh, wow. Y'all got three cards that jumped out. I'm taking these. We're going to see what we got here. We got <gasps> the magician in the mirror. <gasps> the angel of love. <gasps> the man holding the coin, period. But mm, the door to personal healing and happiness is closed right now. Or you're not walking through it. Or you're not seeing it here. This is an opportunity for you to heal on a personal deep level for you to find greater happiness. There's some sort of work here that's required in order for these doors to open for you. It's kind of like um, how you are, it, this is giving me like an initiation vibe. Like you have to initiate your healing and your intention to be happy in order for these doors to open. It's like open sesame, right? That's what I'm hearing right now. So the magician in the mirror, the angel of love and the man holding a coin coin i feel like somebody from the past yeah definitely somebody who could have passed on is with you trying to send love your way you can still be holding on to animosity towards them because of what they did to you but now they're part of the spirit realm and they're not even they're the most purest aspect of who they could have ever been now and they want to bring love to you and i feel like this forgiveness is going to allow this love to come through this forgiveness is going to restore love in your life. The angel of love is here to present you with this love that you have been yearning for, right? You are the magician in the mirror too. So you are the magician of your life, right? The past is cold. The future is hot, right? We're moving towards the future. I feel like, and you should be passionate towards what it is that you're moving towards, Aquarius, or else... um. What is life, right? Like, this is about <clears throat> you realizing the power of your your thoughts and your actions here, your words and your actions, the magician in the mirror. You create your life and the magic of life through your thoughts, words, and actions here. And it's time for you to look into the mirror, look at yourself and realize your power here. You do have the power. Some of you Aquariuses are literally angels of love. Y'all are super supportive here, too, with this man holding a coin. This is a boss, bossing up, making a decision to boss up. Literally, Aquarius, you're making a decision to boss up. And I feel like it's bringing so much more value into your life because you're making the decision to prioritize what is the most valuable to you in life. It could be your finances. It could be your looks, your health here. Because this man holding a coin is a very attractive soul. They look really cute and they dress nice. So, yeah, I do feel like you're taking, you're making a decision to value your life more and yourself. Yeah, definitely very much valuable. Someone could be meeting a new lover who has money. They could also be in the, the health and fitness field. They could have a career around holistic living. Or they could just be a business person a business individual you might even have your own business too starting a business making a decision to start your business some of y'all i see that and you're going to be financially supported here you're going to have the finances to do it 
Oh, but this is because you have forgiven. This angel of love. Wow. You're being blessed with something so lovely at this time. We got the, wow, the root chakra came out, y'all. I told you, first chakra, Archangel Michael, it had to come out for y'all. This is about your stability, and it fell underneath balance. Please don't play with me. <laughs> this is about you maintaining your balance and your sense of security, being confident as you move forward. The moves that you are making, I feel like, are deeply rooted in intention, right? Yeah. Intending to be confident in yourself. To really bring harmony back to the family tree or to the group. Confident enough to stand tall and not fall in the face of um, toxicity. Yeah, period. Mm. Then we got the healer of ages. I told you somebody's a healer. Aquarius, you are literally a healer. You are brought here to heal the situation. You have the ability to heal. <laughs> you are the healer of ages. I feel like you are brought here to heal the generation. Or even if you don't want to take it that far, you're here to heal. You have this healing effect. You have the ability to heal not only others, but yourself as well. Healer of ages. You are a healer. What's at the bottom of this? We got anxiety. Yup. Yup. This is releasing releasing anxiety. Wow. You're healing and the anxiety is going away. The worry of where it is that you're going is going away. The healer of ages is definitely, even if you don't feel like you are a healer, I feel like somebody is coming into your life that's going to help you heal and help you realize that you are a healer. You have healing abilities. Ooh. A woman holding a heart yep so th if you really love somebody you're going to be honest with them and be truthful the temple path yes yeah, spiritual support spiritual purpose yes your purpose here in this physical body is spiritual y'all period so the truth matters right the truth is an energetic frequency and so is a lie Right. So here I feel like there could be some sort of lies that you're withholding from a woman that's in your life that really loves you. They have their heart on display for you. This could be a family member or a significant other here. This woman really loves you, but there could be some sort of information being withheld from this person and vice versa. You may be feeling like this person is withholding some sort of truth from you. But Spirit is saying stand firm and be confident that you can the truth will come out. The truth is going to be exposed. And a person who really loves you and has your heart's best interest in mind, they don't mind being honest with you. So, yeah, ask yourself, too, like, who are you withholding truth from? There's somebody I feel like you need to express your truth to a woman in your life that you really need to express your truth to. Put your heart out there. on display to let them know look this is for you like i got love for you i really love you and i want what's best for you and us as a whole but we have to be more honest with one another there could be some sort of dynamic though here between you two where um y'all just constantly lie to one another or it's just you know y'all used to lying or just not being completely honest about how y'all feel all right, that flipped over. We got confidence in reverse. So yeah, of course, there's some time. I feel like there's some sort of lack of confidence in your ability to forgive or to realize your your manifestation powers. There's something about you not being confident in your ability to manifest love in this situation. And you're also a little bit afraid, but I see you moving away from that and falling away from fear. No fear can go where you are heading, Okay. This should be your move forever. I promise this is my move forever. No fear where you heading. Wow, we got the ghost energy. So something is definitely coming back to haunt you here with this ghost energy. This is also, not all of you guys, but for some of y'all, that's why the death card showed up here in reverse too. Because it's something that you're holding on to from the past. And it's something that you are having such a hard time letting go of that it continues to come back and haunt you. Um, but Spirit is saying, look, it's time for you to see more into the, the non-physical aspect of what life is all about. This is about you seeing beyond what is physical here. 
making a decision to go beyond the surface of the physical and handle the things that might be haunting you. And it's, it's only haunting you because you haven't forgiven them. I'm telling you, somebody, it's like a, um, I don't want to say it's a ghost following you or anything like that, but there's a spirit, some sort of spiritual loved one or someone that's trying to come back and connect with you from the spiritual realm. And you just got to forgive them. You really do. Like, you just have to make it your priority to forgive them and see love for them, have love for them, speak love for them. And it's for you. Yeah. Rejection showing up in reverse. Yep. There's definitely an energy of, yeah, you going for something. And I feel like you are not going to get rejected. You might feel like you're going to get rejected or there's going to be some sort of rejection here. But mm -mm. this forgiveness is needed. Or else it's going to haunt you later. Then we got creativity showing up in reverse okay this is your creativity is being restored right now you might be feeling like you're not that creative but you're also in a happy place and if you haven't been in a happy place spirit is saying it's time for you to get into a happy place so that your creativity can shine there are some sort of bright ideas that you have to bring to the table but right now your light can be a little bit dimmed right it's kind of like needing to change the light bulb and once the light bulb is changed and it's brighter in the room when you're brighter, shining brighter, you'll feel happier. But yeah, there's definitely something about um, you shining your light for real. Not allowing your light to be dimmed. Also, I feel like somebody can have money and wanting to invest in a, in a business or something, but you just don't know what it is that you want to invest in yet. What else we got here for my Aquarius is, whoa, who we got? Comfort, yes. Okay, this is going to be the final card for the read, y'all, and determination. So I feel like you're determined to find more comfort in your life. This comfort is allowing you to feel more determination, too, because the more comfortable you feel within your essence in your life, then you know that you can have things your way. So this is definitely about you being determined to find new levels of comfort, and life is getting more comfortable for you as well too as you maintain your energy stable in a stabilized way here also i feel like this woman holding the heart could be here to comfort you ready to comfort you and also you got to make this person feel comfortable too in order for the truth to come out nobody's going to really be able to um pull the truth out or come clean with the truth if they're not comfortable if they don't feel comfortable so and that's for you, too, as well. I know you got to feel comfortable, too. You got to be in as much of a comfortable state as possible when it's time for you to, like, come clean and be more honest. Yes. But I'm going to leave this reading here, my lovely Aquariuses. I hope y'all resonated with this. Until next time, peace, love, and prosperity.